Hey guys, this is Kiriath, this is Smite, and today we're going to take a look at Ra, the Sun God. Ra is a ranged magic caster with heavy damage abilities and a splash of support and utility thrown in. His place is at the edge of the fight, really, using his powerful spells to destroy the enemy without getting attacked himself. He's highly mobile, and he's got some great abilities. We'll start with his passive, Speed of Light. His passive grants 10% movement speed when you use any of his abilities. These don't actually have to hit anything, they just need to be cast for the passive to kick in. It stacks three times, so you should be able to kite and keep yourself out of harm's way in the event of a team fight. You end up with 30% extra movement speed if you chain your abilities together, which is a lot. You should be able to easily get out of gank attempts as well if you place your abilities right. His first active, Celestial Beam, fires a ray of intense light from the sky. There you go. It moves in a straight line and deals a good amount of damage. It's your basic nuke. You want to be firing it off at the enemy gods as much as possible because it's got a fairly low mana cost and a fairly low cooldown. The more you can keep this spell going, the more harass and damage you'll be pulling off and the more your passive will stay up. Mobility is a big part of Ra. You want to keep that passive at least on one stack as much as possible and Celestial Beam is the ideal ability with which to do it because it causes a serious amount of damage if it clips them. It is fast moving, but if the enemy move to the side quick enough, being a straight line ability, it is dodgeable. Now his next ability is Divine Light. It's more of a close quarters ability that slows enemies within its radius over a short period of time. Once the ability finishes, anyone facing Ra will be blinded, and in Smite that means exactly what it says. They will be unable to see for a few seconds. That's quite good, however it's a close quarters spell. It's an effective form of crowd control, but it needs to be timed just right. Ra should not be sat in the middle of a fight, so you've got to really use your judgement as to when to pop it. It can also be used to escape from a fight. The damage it does is nothing special, but it's there to slow and blind, not kill. If you're able to activate it as you're running away from a gank attempt, if they keep chasing you, they will not only be slowed, but they will take a bit of damage and they will be blinded at the end of it, which should guarantee you being able to get away. Solar Blessing is a fantastic ability. It's a large placeable AoE and it has different effects depending on who is hit by it. So allies who are stood inside the AoE are healed for a certain amount plus 10% of your magical power depending on the rank per second and they gain a magical and physical power bonus. Their health and their damage goes up the longer they are stood in Solar Blessing. Enemies however, if they're stood in it, they get damaged and they lose magical and physical power. Their damage goes down, their health goes down. It's quite a large AoE. If you place it on a team fight, you could turn the tide. And effectively place Solar Blessing, I think, is going to be one of those abilities that can decide the course of a game. Because used properly, you can keep your own team up, even if it's just on the edge, for long enough to destroy the enemy. Even if you only come out one god ahead, Solar Blessing has got the power to turn a losing fight into a winning fight. Its final ability is the very aptly named Searing Pain. This is his ultimate. It's a very simple spell. It's just a huge beam of light, and it fires out from Rara in a straight line. Anything caught in the path takes a serious amount of damage. It's a flat out, fairly high cooldown nuke with good range and excellent scaling. You can see there 100% of your magical power is added onto the base damage, and the base damage is pretty high to begin with. Placed effectively, and if it's following Celestial Beam and Solar Blessing in a team fight, this is the ability that really should be finishing enemy gods off. The cooldown at max rank is 50 seconds, which is a comparatively long time, especially in Smite, which is quite a fast paced game, so you need to make it count. So there you go people, that was a quick guide to Ra, the Sun God. And uh, I'll see you at the next guide. Don't forget to click all the links at the bottom, subscribe, like, do all that funky stuff. See you later.